here we are back in the pit of pain Connor Hume ice bath blog it's been a while since I've talked to you my training training schedule has changed a little bit this training camp I'm working on listening to my body more training smarter not training harder which means I need to spend less time in the ice bath which is a good thing because uh, as fun as these ice bath blogs may be for you the viewer they are uh, quite a painful process for myself and while pain is merely weakness leaving the body um, sometimes I like to avoid it just like to relax have a nice hot bath after training but uh, enough about avoidance today <clears throat> What I want to talk about is fear. Um, it's uh, been said by the uh, Bhagavad Gita that the wise man seeketh that was, which is in accordance to his nature and does not seek after things, unnecessary things, contrary things to his nature. I'm a fighter, so I fight because I believe that is my nature and that I shall find happiness through the pursuit of those things that are in accordance with my nature. Um, this is contrary to a lot of people. Most people spend their, their whole life trying to avoid fights, avoid conflict, avoid that, um, that fight or flight uh, reaction in the body that is caused by fear, because most people fear fighting. Um, I, for one, I, I don't fear fighting. I enjoy fighting. My greatest fear would be not reaching my potential, but even even that is all fear is is a, a negative emotion fear should simply act as a beacon or a warning sign of impending danger and one should then examine the cause of the fear and take action um, one of the things fear does is it paralyzes us and it causes us to sometimes freeze up and not be able to move people speak about being paralyzed by fear and in the face of fear, one of the best things that one can do is to take action. Um, for me, as a fighter, you know, if fear approaches coming into a fight or leading into a fight, um, at least I get to take, you know, violent action in, in the cage and overcome my fear. Um, back when I was snowboarding all the time, one of my favorite things to do on a powder day was jump cliffs. And because as I sat at the top of the cliff looking over it, I was... I would feel that feeling of fear, that feeling of the unknown, that feeling of impending danger. But in that situation, the action to take is very clear, and that's to charge it and jump the cliff. Um, when we experience fear that is not in an extreme situation like a fight or snowboarding or something like that, the action to take can be um, hard to understand or hard to figure out what the correct action is, and a lot of times then we're paralyzed by that fear, we turn that inaction internally and we take that inaction to heart and we internalize those negative uh, emotions, you know, that fear, anger, sadness, anything that can be caused by that fear and without taking action we turn those emotions in on ourselves and can cause, you know, dis-ease in the body that, you know, is, is the cause of, you know, um, unhealth, you know, lack of wellness, it can cause, you know, digestive problems. Um, scientists have shown that when animals are, um, are fearful that their digestive process is slowed, the metabolic rate changes. It's, you know, so fear has an actual physical impact on the way our body functions and so by avoiding or not, not so much avoiding but by acting when we are, feel fear that um, some of that can be avoided. The, um, the opposite of fear is, is really faith and just having faith that there's a divine order to things and that there's a superlative power that governs the laws of our universe and to know that, you know, everything's going to be all right. <laughs> and um, I feel very blessed in my belief that everything is going to be all right because I've been through some shit and everything's turned out all right. So... I'd just like to encourage you guys, um, as you face your fears, whatever they may be, fear of getting in the ice bath, fear of a fight, fear of a, a job interview that may be coming up, fear of making a, you know, a life-changing decision, changing jobs, changing locations, um, 
you know, moving out of an unhealthy relationship, starting a new relationship, um, you know, going out for a sports team, whatever it is, you know, trying something that you wanted to do but have been been unable to do because of fear. I want you to to take action, and intelligent action is the best, you know, recourse in the face of fear. But even foolish action, which then can be later rectified, is is better than un, you know better than no action, or better than than freezing up and allowing fear to paralyze us. So um, I'm getting ready for my fight, uh, June 16th, Strike Force Challenger Series. I don't have an opponent yet, but I believe it will be in LA at the Nokia Theater. Should be aired live on Showtime. So if you don't have Showtime yet, order it and. If you're in the L.A. area, get your damn tickets because it's going to be a show you don't want to miss. And uh, if my eventual opponent is watching this, don't be afraid. Everything's going to be all right. One soul, many bodies, and though yours might be broken on June 16th when you face me, know that by overcoming your fear and stepping into that cage with me, that that's the first step towards enlightenment and towards realizing your potential. And I'm happy to walk you there. This is Connor Hurricane Hewn, Ice Bath Blog. Overcome your fear, people. Make it happen. You're the master of your reality, and we're all the masters of our universe. So have faith, overcome fear, and do bold, great things. And remember, there are no ordinary moments.